I'm Amira David and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The investigation into a fiery plane crash in Lyon Township continued today. We are told the plane was headed to Oakland Southwest Airport from Georgia. The victims have been identified as a family from Northville. David Campo, his wife Michelle and their son Dawson. We are told nobody on the ground was injured. A man is dead after being hit by a car this evening. Detroit police say a woman driving a silver Honda sedan crashed into an 84 year old man on Warren near Woodmont. The man later died at the hospital. What led up to the crash is still under investigation. President Trump calling out Detroit during an hour long phone call with Georgia state officials. During that conversation, the president pressured Georgia's secretary of state to overturn his election defeat. About 10 minutes into the conversation, the president mentions Detroit making claims of voter fraud, saying 18,000 dead people cast a ballot in the state. Back in November, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson confirmed the election results in the state are valid and that the ballots of dead voters were not counted. A quick check on the forecast with meteorologist Mike Taylor. Hey, Mike. Hey, Amira. Hey, thanks. We're going to stay cloudy for the start of the work week. Even some flurries are going to pass through, too. So the clouds will be locked in place. So for tonight, temps are going to hold into the upper 20s, the low 30s. Some areas of fog possible, maybe some freezing fog since we'll be near 32.